KCRA 3's Michelle Bandour, who is live in Sacramento. Michelle, just heartbreaking on Christmas morning. What have you learned about that woman? Andrea, yes, very heartbreaking, and the family is just devastated, you know, after the woman is in critical condition with those severe burns after their artificial Christmas tree caught fire. So instead of being inside the home and enjoying their new Christmas gifts, that family is at the hospital praying for a miracle. You can see the flickering light on the tree kind of like the telltale sign of a fire. Loud sounds woke up Richard and Brandy Byers at two this morning on David Drive in North Highlands. Really the family bad. was outside and they were just screaming destiny. There's someone inside. There's somebody inside and that there's nothing any of us could do. Richard Byers couldn't just stand there and watch the house burn, so he grabbed a fire extinguisher while another neighbor used a garden hose. He motioned to the window. He was yelling in the window there. So that's where I aimed my fire extinguisher, but I mean, the fire just came right back. Like, it was just too intense, moving too fast. It was an instant, you know, spontaneous uh, combustion in this air, and it just went fast, and that's how quick it went. I'm talking minutes. Ernest Isom and five other adults, including his wife, son, his son's fiance, and their dogs, had fallen asleep after celebrating Christmas Eve together. And unfortunately, you know, they wanted to keep the lights on to the last minute, and we all happened to fall asleep. And then when we fell asleep, uh, all of a sudden when the alarm came off, it was in Boston flames. There was no instant, there was only seconds to get out. Sacramento Metro Fire Department says an electrical short from the artificial Christmas tree started the fire. The family lost everything. Everything. Everything down to my dogs. Everything. But crews want to try to save anything that's left of the home while the family now focuses on their loved one fighting to stay alive. It was a miracle people got out at all, the way it was moving. It was intense. Firefighters rescued the woman from the living room, but she suffered critical burns. Unfortunately, she was the one who yelled fire. And that's the sad part. She saved our lives. Again, that woman is in critical condition at the UC Davis Burn Center. The family also lost two dogs in the fire. Now, at one point, the flames were so intense, they started spreading next door. Crews managed to keep those flames at bay before destroying the neighbor's home here next door. Now, SAC Fire also says that there were not working smoke detectors at the home, and now they say it's a good reminder to check those batteries to make sure they are working. Reporting live in North Highlands, Michelle Bandour, KCRA 3 News.